All right, so uh, my name is David Shablock. We're uh, starting a video talking about red pigments on the Lairdal Sinman 3G skin. Uh, red pigments can be a real plague on uh, anything, uh, and uh, anybody that's had a tattoo removed will tell you that the pigment that won't go away and is the hardest to remove is red. And on the PVC skin of the Sinman 3G, this is especially difficult. Um, so what I did was, and uh, this came out of a question from uh, one of the Facebook forums talking about what bloods and pigments can you use on Sinman 3G skin that won't stain forever. Um, so one thing I did was I tried different bloods and different makeups, um, some with a barrier product, two different barrier products, and then uh, one with nothing, so that's our control group. So I tried Ben Nye Final Seal. Um, and Vaseline. I actually didn't have cold cream. Uh, a lot of people talked about using cold cream and things like that, uh, but I just didn't have any on with me, so uh, didn't do it this time. I also tried a lot of bloods, but um, not everything I've got, just what I was able to grab kind of quickly that night. Um, this is kind of a spur of the moment thing, but it's something I've been thinking about for a while, and so I wanted to test it, get it shot, get the information out there as quickly as possible. Um, so, from top to bottom, um, I've got, there's no control, or I mean, there's no barrier product in this area here. Um, in here, I have Ben Nye Final Seal. It's pretty available. It's nothing you can go down to the corner uh, drugstore and get, but it's very easy to get um, from Friends Beauty, Nigel's, a lot of different places. Um, it's quick, it's easy, it sprays on. Um, it's actually a prosthetic um, sealer. So it's actually a final sealant product. There's actually a lot of barrier sprays they've got as well. Um, I haven't tried those yet, but that's uh, on the list. I just had this. I've used Ben Nye Final Seal. I trust it. It's great. Uh, the final one was the Vaseline. I've trained on Vaseline. I've taught you know people using Vaseline as a barrier is a great thing. And for a lot of things, it can be. Um, for makeup, it can actually be a challenge because it, it's hard to actually apply the makeup onto the Vaseline. I tried to use a fairly thin layer, but as you can see, you can see where the Vaseline is because it definitely, um, the Rob Smith's silicone blood kind of comes right off of it, and that's not what it's made for, so we can't actually say, you know, this is bad about the blood or anything like that. None of these are made to go on Vaseline, um, but since it's something we do in healthcare simulation, it's good to show. Um, some things worked better on it, some things didn't. Um, going from your left to right. Uh, I've got Fun World Blood. Um, Fun World Blood is the big gallon I use. Uh, we use it in our Venus systems. Um, yes, you can grow things, but it's it's cheap. We can get a gallon of it for like 40 bucks and it works great. But as you can see, it evaporates, it leaves almost nothing, and on the Vaseline it didn't stay at all. Um, Graftobian Blood Paste. There's a lot of blood pastes and blood gels we use. Uh, ben Nye, Graftobian um, are pretty prevalent in our industry, uh, and it works great. stays on everything. It's very gel gelatinous. Um, my go-to blood is this next one, and it is uh, by PT Materials, and it's called Red Drum. I use it in mass cals. I use it in a lot of my moulage because it's a very good, good bang for your buck. There are way more expensive bloods. There are way cheaper bloods. It's kind of that in-the-middle blood, and um, I really like it a lot. Um, Fleet Street is great. It's uh, a little more expensive, um, but uh, that one's right here. Red Hairspray. Uh, I might get a lot of questions about why I use Red Hairspray. Well, for a quick and easy burn, or a quick dusting of color, um, it works great. So I keep red and black hairspray in my kit, and it's, it's great. Um, this is Krylon Supreme Blood. Um, they're arterial. Uh, it's pretty dark and it's actually the more, most cakey of the bloods. Um, I may not have mixed it real real well um, when I went for it, but uh, it stayed on almost like a blood gel and a blood paste. This next swipe here is just a cheap cream makeup. Uh, we use you know a lot of creams in the industry. This is just a very cheap, very inexpensive uh, Spirit Halloween after the season buy. Um, the next, and, and you know, it smeared on there until it gets to the Vaseline and it kind of goes away. Um, 
This is a newer blood that I've kind of um, been experienced with called, uh, it's by Cutthroat Studios called Bad Blood. First off, I just gotta say, the packaging is beautiful. Um, I kind of keep it around just because its packaging is beautiful, but it's a great blood. Uh, as you can see, it's got a great color here. This is their coagulated, their blood paste, and it, it dries real well. Whereas Graftobian and, and a lot of our blood gels will stay tacky and, and kind of melt out of injuries. Um, this kind of dries up nicely and it stays in wounds and it's great and then their standard blood works great. So that's actually a new find I got recently and I'm loving it. The, besides the packaging, the blood's great. Um, so I'm testing more and more of that. It's good stuff. Um, right here is Skin Illustrator. So as you can tell, and I just came right off, um, you know, this is an alcohol activated paint. There's a lot of different brands. This is PPI Skin Illustrator and um, I use it a lot. Um, if you're not familiar with it, I'm going to have another video at some point where we're going to talk about alcohol activated paints and things like that. But this is specifically one that got asked in the forum, so I wanted to test it. Uh, this is Smooth On's Ultimate Blood. This is another blood I like a lot. Um, it comes in a kit where you can thicken it, you can thin it, you can tint it, and it uh, works really, really well on silicone prosthetics, which that's a whole nother conversation about what works well on silicone. Right now we're focusing on what works on Sinman, Laridol's Sinman 3G's PVC based skins. Um, this is RMG. A lot of people use that and it's basically cream makeup with castor oil. Uh, it works really really well with uh, latex and things like that but it, you'll find it in simulates, big tubs and stuff like that. Um, there's a lot of people using RMG whether they know it or not. And then this is this is one of my newer bloods that I like a lot, and it's by Robert Smith, and it's Silicone Flow Blood. And again, it's a nice blood, it's more expensive, um, but it's beautiful, and it works really, really well. Not so much on this type of skin, but as far as in the Mascal moulage makeup industry, it's great. Uh, there's other bloods I've got, other bloods I want to test. This is what I was readily available and re easy to get, uh, so this is what I got. But this is my test for 24 hours, it's actually a little bit more, um, but we wanted to put this pigment on the skin and see after 24 hours how well it comes off. Uh, when I clean my mannequins, um, I tend to go a stepwise. I use soap and water. If that doesn't work, I tend to use 99% isopropyl alcohol. Um, if that doesn't work, I, I will use acetone if I have to as an absolute last ditch effort, but be careful. Um, use it on a test skin that is not your mainline skin and make sure you know what you're doing with it. Uh, I really caution you to use it because on like a Sim Baby Classic, you'll actually burn that skin up and the manufacturers are not going to suggest you do that either. Also, you know, as a big disclaimer, before you put anything on your mannequin, make sure you know what is going to void your warranties. Don't come blame me. I'm just testing things on old skins, sharing the information of what works for me. So, first thing we're going to do is wipe everything down and then use some soap and water. Some of it comes off easier than others. And some of it, some of it's really good drying blood and, and stays. This is actually the bad blood. Um, it stays pretty well. And I'll tell you what. I mean, Robert Smith's blood, great blood, but it is leaving a mark with just mechanically cleaning it off, but I'll tell you, that bad blood is kind of peeling right off. I'm actually shocked, it's great. But, let's get into actually cleaning it off a little bit better. And this is just a non-scratch SOS pad. And I'm really getting in there and just kind of making sure I get the volume of blood off before I go anywhere else. Wow, that's cool. So this is 
is going to stain that bucket of fresh soapy water just bright red. And this is what I do to really scrub down a mannequin. So, some of the results I guessed, some of it I did not. So as a whole, red pigment just stays sticking to mannequins, and uh, at least in my results in the past. Um, the hairspray, I've had some really bad effects with it as far as, that's why when I teach about like doing a hairspray burn or something like that, I say you need to make sure you're using thick amounts of Vaseline and a barrier product and using it, you know, all over the place. Um, so this is just mechanical with some soap and water. That hairspray, even with the um, Ben Nye Final Seal, um, you know, went through that, or at least it hasn't come off yet because I have not scrubbed that off with anything better. Um, red drum came off. The Kryolan left a little tiny bit. Uh, the red cream left some pigment, and that might be just me not getting enough. Uh, the Cutthroat Studios Bad Blood came right off. The RMG still has left a little bit, but it for the most part come off, but you know it still stays a little bit on there. The, and that's basically, like I said, it's just cream with castor oil in it. Uh, Rap Smith's has stained a little bit. Um, this one is Skin Illustrator. Skin Illustrator has actually stained more than I thought. So, that's interesting. But, let's give it my go-to. This is a mister with 99% alcohol in it. And we just soak down. And that should break up the final seal. I'm hoping that with the final seal, this comes off. As you can see, the very, very best barrier spray I've had on all this was the Vaseline, which is not really that surprising because it's so thick. Everything sits on top of it, so once you've wiped the Vaseline away, most everything comes right off of it. But the Skin Illustrator stained a lot worse than I thought it would. I'm actually shocked. I've always had really good luck with Skin Illustrator. And I prepped the skin with acetone, so that may have broken up some of the surface of the skin. Um, this had been previously tested on, and so I had to really clean it well to give me a good palette for this test. Look at that. Oh, there you have it. So the red hairspray does not want to let go at all. So that's why when I teach about the um, using the hairsprays on the mannequin, be very careful. Uh, and the skin illustrator stained pretty well as well, or stain pretty bad. Smooth-ons left a yellow hue, I don't know if you can see it here. Um, the RMG pretty much is gone now with the 99%. Um, the Cutthroat Studio stuff has gone real well. The red drum that I know and trust works real, real well. Um, I need to go back and remember which one that is, but I've got a little bit of red hue right through there. I'll try to put a comment on there. And the Fun World Blood that evaporated off for the most part didn't stay either. So, uh, Ben Nye Final Seal's barrier product would be a big old no-go. Um, I can't even recommend it because it's, it had almost no effect. Still, I go back to the cheap, available Vaseline. The only problem is the application on it. So, well, there you go. There are some good results for you, and I hope you found this enjoyable. There's going to be a lot more videos coming out, and uh, we'll get better over time. So, hope you enjoyed. Have a great night.